Now, what about the greenhouse gases? What about the gases that are very effective at trapping this infrared radiation and bringing it back to the planet? The biggest culprit is carbon dioxide. And that's because of the massive amounts of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. Not just because of what we've done, but there's always a lot of CO2 in the atmosphere. Historically, those levels were in the 200 to 300 parts per million. Let's contrast that to methane. Methane is even more effective at trapping heat in the Earth's atmosphere. There's only a tiny, tiny bit of methane in the Earth's atmosphere, but it's really, really good at trapping those heat and reflecting it back. The methane in the Earth's atmosphere is responsible for about 18% of the greenhouse effect, whereas the CO2 is just a bit over half of the effect. You might say, aha, methane, that's natural gas. It's because of all those natural gas wells. Well, no. Remember, the natural gas is the product. You don't want to leak natural gas. You don't want to lose natural gas. Sure, some of it certainly does come from leaks in production of natural gas and oil and coal and so forth. But probably the largest single source comes from animals. You say, animals? Are you talking about manure? Yeah, maybe a little, but what we're really talking about are cow belches. You see, cows are ruminant animals. They have multiple stomachs. They're actually capable of digesting cellulose grass clippings. We're not capable of that. So they have to take this into their stomachs. There are a variety of bacteria. And in that process, they cough some of it back up into their mouth. So they chew their cud, right? It goes in maybe somewhere else. I'm not an expert in cow digestion here. But the point is that they are actually <laughs> a major CH4 methane producer and culprit to our global warming aspects. We could all uh, give up beef, but that's not going to happen. So what else? Well, also high on this list are things called chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. CFCs are a very common ingredient in refrigerants and used to be a very common ingredient in aerosols. And they're extremely bad for the atmosphere. They are long-lived which means once you put them up there, they stay, and they trap very effectively this heat that's given off by the Earth and then radiated back in. You have other things. There's ozone, right? Ozone can be very good in the upper atmosphere, very bad in the lower atmosphere. You've got nitrous oxides, which are also caused by burning of things since most of our atmosphere is nitrogen. So these are the greenhouse gases. The CO2 can come from many sources. But it's pretty obvious that over the last hundred years, all of that carbon we had packed into the Earth's crust through hundreds of millions of years of plant and animal decay, our fossil fuels, over the last hundred years, we're digging it all up and setting it on fire. 